The whole break, they were vacuuming the studio. It smells like shit in here, man. Well, it smells like uh, busted television. Yeah, absolutely. It's got that electronic smell to it. Absolutely. Mm. We, we're good now, right? Yeah, we're good. Sam. Yes. He was breaking the TV. Breaking the TV. Oh, good one, Chip. Thanks. Oof. What happened to Brewer? He went to I saw him one. outside. He just eyes wandered at, off. Eyes at half mast. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not high. No. Brewer's playing the uh, Highline Ballroom here in New York City. Heavy Metal Family Man Tour. It's uh, that's 16th Street in, in the city. Highlineballroom.com. When? Um, 212-414-5994. Yeah, what day is he playing? When's he playing it? Um, Tough. I don't find any humor in that. Uh, da do 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 Brewer has a lot of updates for us. He's got a mom update, a pizza man update, a family update in general. It, his website is Bruniverse. <laughs> That's like a real stretch. <laughs> Brewer, not Bruniverse, it's Bruniverse. Bruniverse. Yeah. He's so yeah. big, though. He's bigger than the whole earth. Oh, what is he standing he is. on? It's crazy. Seth Rogen coming in soon, too. So we got to get Brewer in here, man. Here comes Jim. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> is he just talking to himself or is he singing? Yeah, he's probably singing Breaking the Laws. Breaking the Laws. Sure. <laughs> Our pal Jim Brewer. Wolf child girl. Jim. What's up, Jim? What's up, uh, man? So Anthony looks smooth as a baby's ass. Yeah. yeah. And you look like... Ow! Let's get shocked. <laughs> <laughs> His jacket came off. You got static Ow. electricity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. And you get the whole Amish thing going. Yeah, yeah. I, got a, I got an ugly beard. Can't even just no, call it's it a beard. All good. It's, it's all good. One. Jim and goes, Jim wow, Bell he's the same. You think, you think I should be living in Pennsylvania? You, you look say. like you need a cart. Loop. Oh, Amish, huh? Yeah. Well, all right. oh, Amish. Build a little uh, hot stove. <laughs> Put in the back of the daily news. I want to go to Amish country. Is it Why cool? Not? It's boring. Come on, boring? Right, there's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a town at least? Is like a main street like you can walk certain, around? Yeah. yeah. Can you walk around there and see the Amish? Yeah. yeah, you go and you see the fudge they make or whatever they make, yeah? and then you you know and get the hell out of there. Yeah, you're yeah. done. Shows over. All right, yeah. Is there an the Amish bar? No. Yeah, they serve butter. Why not? Drink, silly. What about for all the people that are visiting? I'll tell you one thing, you'll be safe around there if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are Amish allowed to carry? Yeah. Allowed to what? Uh, carry. Pennsylvania, it's very easy to get a But a the Amish themselves. Oh, I don't know what their, their whole take on it is. Religion. But I would think with the way they uh, build things and stuff, that hunting is probably a big uh, thing with so them. So they all got shotguns? I think I they... I would assume. I don't know. I would assume. I don't know. Pennsylvania is say... free with their gun laws. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say no. They're mm. more. They're more knives. Uh, I don't think they're hunting with <laughs> knives. Yeah, they throw the knives. Just yeah. jumping on a fucking deer and slitting yeah. its throat. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's not hard. I got in my yard. You know, now I start feeding. They come closer. Grab that thing. I by think the ear somebody and... has something to contribute. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh okay, boy, so Kenny. Oh, Kenny's gonna let I us saw know. Kenny. Kenny uh, knows all things. I don't want to interrupt the great Jim Brewer. <laughs> well, <laughs> Who's playing the uh, Highline Ballroom, <laughs> the Heavy Metal Family Man Tour. Yes. Excellent. You must, have, you must have been reading his website when you weren't ironing those pants. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Brewer, we don't know when you're playing. We don't have that. When's the date? We know Friday. This Friday? Friday. Late Friday night. This here, Friday. Here in New York City. Highlineballroom.com for ticket info and all that crap. But, uh... If you go to my Club Soda Kenny Facebook page, uh -huh. I have a picture of an Amish midget I saw this weekend. Wow. What, oh. do, what does that have to do with the fact guns. that they can carry or not? Oh, you're talking about Amish people. Oh I, I got a picture God. of me shooting a gun. Uh, yeah, too bad it's not aimed where it should have been. <laughs> they, don't, they, they don't even use electricity. How do you right. want them to use modern technology? They're not modern have te guns. guns are not modern technology. Yeah. The guns Show have been around way before electricity. Kenny's pants have the longest zipper I've ever seen. Look at how I long know, it, that is. Completely unnecessary. Yeah. I've got a very low rise in my pants. <laughs> Why do you have such a low a rise? A ballroom. Why, yeah. though? That's how you like it, huh? No, because... 
Oh, my God. <laughs> exactly. It's a Those hepatitis are... yellow shirt. <laughs> he's got Fred Mertz pants. He's got the, <laughs> he's got the biggest pants ever. <laughs> like Fred, Fred, I Fred buy Mertz, cheap man. suits. Fred Mertz. What do you say we go down to the club, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> she was staring. Oh, no, say. <laughs> she was staring right at the camera. Let yeah, you say. take a picture like like it's a freak show. You know what though? Did you just... know what though? Nothing respect uh, but respect for oh, Kenny because wow. most people that take pictures of midgets they always uh, take a picture of their backs. They're not brave enough to. Yeah, Kenny got our fucking get up there looking faces. and everything. Yeah. It looks like she she's gonna annoyed, do? too. Oh, of course yeah. she is. Well, what's she going to do? Why are you taking a picture? She can't even reach up to his balls. But they don't talk like that. They talk she's normal. Amish, and the Amish don't like having their pictures taken in general. That's right. Why? Where well, they think it some steals their souls. Some voodoo thing. They think it takes yeah. your soul. I, read I know that's some African thing. <laughs> I, read, <laughs> yeah. I read that the Amish burn midgets, though. What? Yeah. Oh, they don't want midgets around. I heard about that. No, I read it somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I read it somewhere. I did, yeah. Well, you got a mic in front of you. It's got to be true. That's right. There's another picture. Oh, were you trying to get a picture of the midget or Estelle Getty standing next to her? I know, right? Uh, get it. Uh, you have more than one? Why are you taking up oh, your boots? Oh, he's got a gun. Nice. There, the guy with his horse and buggy. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. See, yeah, if you want to go see the Amish. I want to check out the Amish. Check out right there, Ope. That's it, huh? You right. got it. That's all you're going to say? There you go. Horse and buggy. You yeah, go to Central cares. Park. I People I, go to the Amish. Let's go to Amish country. We'll yeah, see, we'll we'll see what. We'll buy butter. <laughs> you can buy it in the store. <laughs> we'll yes. get butter and maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll smell like horses. Don't that sound exciting, Norton? <laughs> Why don't you do a show for the Amish? <laughs> they have to have a sense of humor, too, right? They're very funny. They, they have, have great egg jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Barn raising <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I got to say, I thought we lost Brewer for good. Because the Boy. last time he was in, and if you oh. remember, we, oh, yeah. we you did guys. the therapy with uh, Brewer's mom. It's it's right. a it's a classic yes. bit, man. That was, uh, Norton that was wasn't heavy. here that day. It was real heavy. We we made your mom admit that she was hitting your dad. Yeah. It, she has no clue still that she, she really thought she was talking to therapists. She oh, still wow. has no idea good. she was on the radio. Yes, and I set up Anthony. I gave Anthony way too much backstory. Yes. And we started going there, and I, I bailed. I, I, I was like, oh, boy, this is getting bad. You're like, no, you're your daughter. I'm like, all right, you know what, Mom? Don't worry about it. It's yeah. all good. Yeah, I knew then. It was just like, all right, I'm out of this. <laughs> what happened? Why yeah. just got it's, very involved. You got very involved. I, but we didn't know how far we could take it. it, it, it we took it far. It was great. It got really weird. My mom, she admitted that she hit her husband while he's in a wheelchair. Right. And, and in his bed. And bad. I had to separate my parents. Was, you can't even write this in a sitcom. She's 85. She's blind in one eye. Her one eye is sewed halfway shut oh. because it keeps getting viruses in it because it's a dead eye. So they had to sew it. Hit, which Now the kids don't want to see her because they're like, oh, oh, God. <laughs> what's wrong with Nana? Just play I and seek with her. She'll never find it. So she's got her one eye shut. And she's blind. My dad's 88, and he was in a... He's trying to sleep his life away living with her. It's, every time I go over there, he's just sleeping. Really? And so the nurses that started coming, and my sister would see marks and hitting. They would catch him hitting once in a while. And then um, so one of the nurses said, hey, uh, we're worried about your dad. It's, your mom's hitting her and hitting him and something's going on. So I had these guys call and wow. she oh. finally admitted on the ra First she went, I don't know what, what you're, you're talking, talking about. That was it. That yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she finally made it. But now she's fine. I got my dad and uh, my dad's in my house. Well, which... Are they separated? Yes. Yes. Wow. Now, my dad never talks, what? but now that I have him alone, I'll say, hey, mom's coming. And he'll go from, uh, uh to, oh, shit. Shit. Uh, Jesus Christ, that bitch deserves to be alone. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, they'll say stuff like that. They're really separated. Wow, like for like uh, the marriage is separate. They're done. Wow. They're done. How They're many years they married? How long have I been alive? Forty-four oh. years. Because back then you didn't get divorced. You just fucking stayed with somebody. You, you just didn't... stayed. Wait, oh. They're done. Yeah, my mom stayed with everyone. She got wow, she got wow, wow. beat, smashed, gunshot at her. Wow. Yeah. Before yeah. your dad? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shot at her, oh, wow. all that stuff. Yeah, she's crazy. So she's got a fucking lot of built up. I was gonna say you're starting to think uh, she might be a problem. Yeah, if all I, that happened to who her. Who knows? I, I don't know where it, st it stems. It could be. <laughs> it could be. 
Uh, you know, her first one died in World War II. That was the love of her life. While probably, she was right? pregnant, and I think after that, she just didn't give. She just didn't give a shit anymore. That was it, huh? Do you know who the brothers and sisters like? Who was she pregnant with at the time? Yeah, my oldest brother, who then died, and that really crushed her. When so did that he was die? Her. He when uh, about fifteen years ago. So no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, like nine, yeah, like nineteen ninety one. So know. did he ever meet his dad or no? No. Never met his father. She was pregnant while he was he was supposed to come home. He, he got killed by a sniper two months before the war ended. Wow. He's Jeez. over there in uh what do you call Luxembourg. They have soldiers built they have soldiers buried all over the world. And Luxembourg has a lot of Americans there and Patton's there, which I I'd even I had no clue, but he was under patent for a while, which I, I didn't know. I didn't know so your brother is born, no father. Your mother kind of... Right, and wow. then her father died two years later. She, was, she swears it was from the mafia because he was a construction worker, and he was building all this stuff, and he started getting big, and she said, those goddamn guineas came to the house, <laughs> and I was a little girl, and they said, if you don't join us, we're going to throw acid in your face. Those goddamn guineas. I wasn't allowed to date guineas. <laughs> and that's, it's true. And she, she used to go to Irvine High School or Irvine Plaza or whatever over there. And she said, one time I brought home a guinea. <laughs> a guinea. And my, fa and I said, tell my father you're Jewish. <laughs> and he said, he opened the door and my father said, what's your name? And he said, Mancini. And he said, get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> Go where you belong, you grease monkey. And, <laughs> and, and then two years later, he died of a heart attack. <laughs> How did the, uh, the mafia give him a heart attack? She, she swears it was through stress. Ah, ah. It probably had nothing to do with her being, uh, you know, having a kid and <laughs> kid's dead. <laughs> So after that, what happened? She married someone else? Jeez. Here's, here's, this is great. Um, what happened after that is a mystery, little Jimmy. After that, my oldest sister, you know Doreen? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've met her. Might have met Doreen. She's a complete mystery. We don't know the father. Oh, man. She has a mysterious thing on her face. We, we have, she's a mystery. So For we, real? Yeah. We don't know. Wow. Does she know? She says she contacted her father once he picked up the phone, and then they, she whisked out, and there was no communication. So after that came this other guy who was rich, and he was huge in Pan Am, and they flew to, and he got transferred to uh, Brazil. So she was living in Rio de Janeiro, and that's where the good stuff went down, where there was um, fightings and knifings oh, and, and shootings at my mother and beatdowns and... Uh, all kinds of good stuff Damn. with his kids and her kids, and he had a kid, and then they had kids together. So she has Portuguese or Brazilian kids? No, he was American. He just got oh, uh, he okay, got transferred okay. to uh, Brazil. Do you know all of the, her kids yeah. with him? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And they they don't even they don't even if you say if you mention him. It's like watching a POW from from the Philippines. <laughs> they just start shaking. <laughs> just the ears start dripping water uh, and sweat. He's, he's terrible guy, even, huh? Horrifying. Wow. Which that effect <sighs> is today, too. Have you My met sister's him? mangled. Do you know him or no? No, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yeah. My sister's 60 and still mangled. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I am and I was 14. <laughs> 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 Patty, get off off the curb, please. Holy shit. Come on, you're 60, sweetie. Come on, get up. It's over. Oh, you don't wow. know the same day. You don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah, it's a mess. Wow, still. And then my dad came, who supposedly he would drink heavy, but he wasn't an angry drunk. Mm -hmm. He was a happy drunk. He's a world. He just came out of World War II, so he was still drinking heavy for a while. And then... They had me. Now, she used to look for fights 24-7. I went through a hate woman stage for a while. If you talked back, if, if you talked down to me, I would literally want to take your head and shove it through a wall because my father would take it. She'd go, you kids are stupid, and they're not getting any of my goddamn money, I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. They're stupid. You're stupid, Jim. You're stupid. Goddamn. Shut up. I work hard. You're not getting any of my money. That's all I heard for years. 
And my father would just sit there watching, you know, and, quiet, the goddamn news is on. Yeah, he's looking at his monkeys. It's always the monkeys. It's always the monkeys in trouble. Always the monkeys from Brooklyn. Oh, it's causing problems. Here it goes through the Bronx. They just burn everything down. That's what the monkeys do. They burn everything down. That's all they do. That's all they do. They burn. They burn. So, <laughs> so, wow. So that's, uh, <laughs> wow. yeah, that, that was the upbringing. Which, it was awesome. Which, wow. Which led to your mom, you know, abusing your dad, and we got involved. We haven't, yeah. seen, we haven't seen you since. How long have they been married, your parents now? 40 44 years. So I was in an accident, and they stuck together. As my mom says, I, you were supposed to be aborted. <laughs> Everyone said, have an abortion. You're 43, and you're going to die, Doris. And... And I went to the doctor, and they said, that's just gas. That's what she said, it's gas. And then I was dancing with your father, and I felt a kick. Oh, and I went, man. oh, Jesus Christ, this is a child. And I had you, and I'm so happy I had you. And they had some good times. Wait, can I stop you for a second? You know how long you have to be along to feel a kick? That's what I said. Well, they so were she was pregnant a for a really long time. They were wasted she, a dude, lot. Dude, I grew up in a bar. But my, uh, I, to this day, I can tell you m m most things I know about a childhood. Right. Now, I had a great childhood. I'm not wow. going to play. I had a great childhood. To me, it was fantastic. Yeah. But if you watch Goodfellas, like when they go to the bar, that was, there was Tricky Dick. There was, uh, there was Tricky Dick, Whispering Dick, uh, Johnny <laughs> Goons. There was, I swear to God, there was Tommy and his poodle. So there was all these, we, my dad would bartend, and sh that's, you know, after school, that's where I'd go. There were the characters. And then my mom would come. Yeah, it was great. Do you ever so, do, you should do a one man show? Like, a, like, I mean, I know you do your stand up, you talk about your family, but a one man show, because guys like Legos, I'm going to do them, and they're good, but this is all your family and your real right. life story. This would be, that'd be an amazing one man show. It'd be, uh, it'd be funny, part mm -hmm. of it would be heartbreaking, but yeah. right. that, if anyone should do it, it should be you, because you, you can do characters do so characters amazingly well. Yeah, that's where you, you might be on to something. Yeah. That'd get, be great, Jim. That's where you developed your characters, going into that atmosphere. Because I never, I never give a shit about people's families, unless it's like you talking about your aunt's dad or Ope's mom. Or like, I like to hear the, the negative shit in families. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And you have a great way of... That's uh, the fun stuff. You, but, <laughs> it is the fun it stuff. It really is, but it's, you got so much stuff dude that who would want to listen to this for an hour oh, yeah. I, I would watch this for an hour uh, yeah. Yeah. i wouldn't even piss fuck <laughs> yeah it's fucking great dude so this so pops is living with you he's doing all right <laughs> yes now mom here's... comes over every once in a while no i've had her over the house twice and he put the first time she came over he played complete i have no clue who she is <laughs> oh wow <laughs> and he's there <sighs> no? Yeah, he is there, and then he slips out a little okay. bit. Like he's there all day, and then he'll go. Are we doing a show tonight in Florida? <laughs> Florida? Huh? Yeah, we're going to the Elks tonight. Like, yeah, well, just give me twenty minutes. I wait for him to fall asleep. <laughs> but <laughs> there's um, he's he's there. Oh, so the first time she came over, he goes. Uh, she he goes. Uh, hey, you want to go to the show tonight? For you, it's free, and you can bring your boyfriend. And she's looking at him like, boyfriend? This, it's, you know who I am, right? He goes, yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're brought over in, uh, on the other court. So he told him, we're all looking at him like, what is going on? I 100% he played it dumb as, yeah. dumb as a fox. And yeah. so she came over on Thanksgiving, tried to hold his hand and stuff, and he wouldn't. He just he wouldn't touch it. He's oh, trying to hurt her. Shit, he's probably pissed off. Yeah, he he. Now that he's in safe, the allies have have saved him. Right? Yeah. So now he's safe, and now he he wants nothing to do with it. Wow. He's eighty eight, and he probably probably a lot of anger built up, and mm -hmm. someone's not taking care of her because she's got anger built. Well, no, that's right. He, he's like he wants to hurt her. That's the way he hurts <laughs> her. She's right. Right. You're right. Where where are you at with the movie you made with him, which I really liked a lot? I'm looking. I only sell it on the website, and I only sell it on um, on the uh, when I tour. I'm gonna look for a distributor this year. I think I need a marketer. Yeah, Brewer, but I gotta hit the baby boomers. How old was he when he when you took him on the road? Eighty five. Five. Yeah, Brewer takes his eighty five year old uh, father on the road with him yeah. and filmed it. Nice documentary. It's really good. You'd like it. I'd love it. You would like it. Really good. You'd like it. I met your dad. You're, you're not far from there. He's still young.
Your dad's young. What is he, 60, Seven, maybe? No, no, no. He's 73, 74. 73. Uh, wow, right. really? He he's looks great. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's, he looks great. Right. My parents pretty healthy. Wow. He's throwing marathons. Another ten, wow, another 10 years. Another 10 years. You'll see. It'll get a little weird for you. Yeah. And he starts shitting himself. That's when excitement <laughs> oh, begins. Man. I know. That's going to be my book, The Top Ten Cities My Father Shit Himself. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you want to promote the movie? or it's Yeah, not, it's no. at least on your I, website. I, I, I recommend it. it. It's he, I, I've watched this 500 times. I've laughed and, and been touched every single time I watched it. How long of a documentary is it? 70 minutes. Did you ever, like, can you go to HBO with it or something? I went to everyone and their mother. No one wanted it? it? Really? No. I'm really we surprised by that. Showtime wants to do something with, for Father's Day. But, you know... Why wouldn't they want this? Who knows? How much footage do you have that you didn't use? Oh, my gosh. I have a mile and a half of footage. Could you go to somebody... Maybe re-edit it, right? And maybe there's something that they were looking for. Right. Because they right. have... And say, look, I have all this footage. I'll, I'll, I'll work with you and re-edit it a little Call bit. Call your manager. I'll do it through him. <laughs> call your agent. I'll do it through them. Or Brewers. I'm, I'm at the end of my. I'll call my I will call my manager. He's got. He, you know. Yeah. I definitely will. Or look at it differently. Maybe start shooting again, and then you know. Update what's going well, on. That's what, I, that's what I wanted to do. Too, now he's off the road again, and this is where we're at. Right. I'm, it's it's too good. How to many drop, years? It's great. Too. What it's year great. did you do this? What's that? A couple what? years ago. What it's, year was this? Uh, two three years 88, ago. Eighty uh, eight. Two thousand eight. So, so two thousand eight. All right. So it's almost four years. That would be almost a, a logical update. Yeah, get yeah. an update and 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 add it to the movie somehow. Is how your how your dad's doing now? The whole thing about them, uh, right? Him moving out. Jeez, that's a hell of an update, dude. That, that might is, be what you needed. You know what you're at is a great update. Maybe refocus. And even though you don't have the footage of that, play audio of some of the conversation here. Right, right. Um, and, and you put it over whether it's whatever kind of footage you have of them together. You interview her. You interview, you're right. I wouldn't give up on there's that There's the project. update, man. You're it's right. Good. What is it called? More like Than that. Me, I think? More Than Me. More Than Me. That's a great idea, Jimbo. Oh. You've, got, you've just helped my career with two... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a one-man show. <laughs> yeah, and right. And i got a new movie coming out. Yeah, I just think your family, the way you, just, you, yeah. you address your family, is so different than I do. I think it's so well, interesting. It was, it's Honest. It's funny it's because there. I always wanted to write it either as a, a script or a book, but I'm kind of waiting for some of them to die. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I'm embarrassed to put I sure. I don't want to embarrass oh my God, we're them. On the, we're on the same page. You know what I mean? I got a so fucking that's, book. The, you know, like two, three years ago, I'm like, oh. If I were to put out just my mother's life, it, it's it's the best HBO series you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, that sounds pretty my, fucking wild. My brother describes a scene with, with when his father came home and first he looks for his sister, or his own daughter. Um, she's she's got the they would go to bed holding knives every night from their own father. Wow. So he comes home. And he's pissed and drunk about something. He comes out by the pool area with a with a gun, and he's taking shots at my mom in the pool. She runs to the she runs to the street and around the car. And he describes it like he starts shaking as a, a little boy watching his father go pow pow. She's ducking Fuck. behind the car. Is that nuts? That's Did you interview her at all? Shit. Did you talk to her on camera? Who? Your mom. Oh God, she didn't. She yeah, she'll talk about that, but she, but I, I there has to be a. But she'll, there'll be a lot of denial, right? <sighs> There's more if, if denial. If you ask her about of, other stuff, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Of I course. have to play both sides. Like Ugh. every Fine. action causes a reaction. Yeah, right. does it make sense? So, you know, was she looking for money at that time? And that's mm. sort of that. How can I get my you? And then he figured out this bitch is using me for fucking my money. <laughs> and was she cheating? Like I don't. It doesn't excuse right, right, right yeah, attempted yeah. murder and all that. But attempted murder. Very you know, rarely what? are things smooth where someone just shoots. It's usually two parts working back and forth. Right. And yeah. yeah. You know, alcoholism. You know, was he an alcohol? Yeah. So I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, there's a lot of good stuff there. Dude, yeah, is there a way to get it out of her at all? Like I, I don't mean that in a you know just. Because she has all these stories. Maybe she. You know, people get old. They're more willing to talk when the older they get, the more le mm, less consequences mean anything. Well, it's just like, like I watched my dad last night. We had a couple uh, over last night, and I've never heard him talk about the war so much in my life. Mm. And it was a little boy, one of the little, kids, nine years old, sat down with my dad, and I'm going, what well, was, you know, hey, uh, BK, you know, BK, he's like, no, 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 I like old people. And it's, <laughs> it's one of my daughter's friends, and he's going, 
you know, what kind of guns did you shoot? I'm like, well, I, I was a gunner in the bottom of a belly, and we shoot, <laughs> we shoot the planes going down. I'm like, oh, wow. Well, uh, he goes, and this was weird. I don't know where the kid got this. He goes, uh, what kind of what kind of bullets were they? I, I don't. Ant, can you help? Your gun got big, freaking like fifties. Whatever they were, it was like, it was like gun. four or five Tracer. inches long. And he goes, was it like this? I'm like, where'd you get a kid has a bullet? He goes, I have loved it. I collect bullets. <laughs> I collect bullets. Because in my house, a bullet. And he's like, no, I'm, cl I'm fascinated with old people in the war and what they went through. This kid's, this kid's eight and a half years wow. old. That's fucked up. But he was talking to him as if, you know, he was on A&E biography. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to Australia for leave, but I can't talk about that right here right now. <laughs> let's, let's just say for a, for a pen, those, those monkeys don't do anything. Don't do anything, don't do anything. <laughs> and you, you didn't talk about your pain back then either. That was weak. Men didn't no, talk no, about that stuff no, and no, no, all right. the stuff these old guys have to sit on. Man, Vietnam yeah. vets at least talk about it. World War Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't talk about nothing. And they all helped each other. My dad was garbage man, but he had everyone in the town. It's Valley Stream. Everyone in that town was from World War Two, and they all got each other jobs. And they were all alcoholics. And I just remember being little, and literally one of his friends hung himself. The other guy had a heart attack driving a truck. He was 42. And then uh, one other guy died. He's 44, and he had a heart attack. So my dad was the only one that survived, yeah. even after the war. You're wow. Like, God. Yeah. But he would never talk about anything like that. That's, that's kind of all part of the movie, too, where, like, these... I don't have patience for people like, you don't understand my life. Like, oh, yeah, really? Uh, you got problems? <laughs> Let's go to the videotape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, please, with your violin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so it, the only shit. weird thing about him now is we, we have a nurse that comes in. and There's two nurses. And he's getting really sick horny. Like he'll he he makes a face like yeah. oh shit yes and and it's it's a little creepy and I have to constantly talk to him and then while she's sitting he'll raise his leg and he'll try rubbing her leg and he 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 goes for quick feels it's, oh man so yeah he, at, at eighty eight we're gonna have to still deal with that shit oh uh, Hi, Highland oh, fuck. Uh, hands down absolutely knowing that you know. Absolutely. Can't do much about it at 88. Nice. nice. You absolutely oh, have to start filming again. Because you have time. No, you're right. And I started talking about that. You know, and the, the guy that filmed this didn't want anything to do with it. He's like, uh, I think he's kind of dumb. Like, eh, I don't think so. He thought, he, he thought what? The guy that filmed the first half, he's like, eh, you know, I think it's kind of done. I'm like, nah, I've been telling him no. for three years. Let's do an update. Let's do an update. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now's the time to do the update. You should just film and then just figure out how to do know, it from put, there. Put it together. How yeah. to wrap around it. Yeah, something. Yeah. Um, you Jimmy, know, I, I love that project. I do too. Four More years than, later. I, lo I love it how it is, and I'm really surprised no one has picked it up. I'm really surprised I'm by that. Whatever it's missing, you can get yeah, either in the you can get it. Yeah. or now. Yeah. Whatever, whatever little piece you might need, yeah. dude. Fucking Harry Potter got turned down by forty. Like sometimes you look at books that have been turned down. Yeah, forty fucking publishers or something, or twenty, and you go through so many of these big books that were turned down. Uh, I forget how long Chaz Palmetto shopped uh, Bronx Tale for. Nobody years. Sometimes these things, we see them as finished products, but it's like no, 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 this no. This is a great play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a great play. I'm doing the main character. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have Seth Rogen walking uh, down the hall. So. Nice. Oh, yeah. He'll join us. Should yeah, I absolutely. Go, should I go there? Yeah, yeah, it don't matter. He's a lister. I'm like Seth, C minus. You're a pal. Yeah, stay there, Seth. Over there. <laughs> you guys know each, a, I'm C minus. You know each other? You know Seth? I don't think he. No, I don't think I've met him. He's no, guy. he's not on SNL. He's, he's, not, he's, he's a big right. actor. He's, he's a good actor. dude. He's a good dude, man. Big actor. He got skinny. Yeah, he did lose a lot. Uh, of weight, right? Jonah did too. They both did, I guess, at this point, right? I I mix well, those two up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think true. a lot of people do. Yeah, his, mo his movie's called Fifty Fifty. Supposed to be very good. Um, I, I saw it. Watched it. It's very good. I did. It's great. It's about cancer. 
<laughs> yeah, well, he takes care of his buddy, and he goes yeah. to the ride with his buddy. Yeah, it's a but heavy movie. 15 minutes in, you're like, I don't want to see this shit. But something changes, and you're, and you're totally hooked and into it, and it's it's just a really good movie. Okay. Really good movie. I like watching movies on planes that I want to hate, and then you're like, oh, wow, all right, this got me to Phoenix. <laughs> which one? <laughs> what was the last one? There's two. There two. One was uh, the Steve Carell film, which I really... You know what, the schmucks? No. Oh, I hated that one. Yeah, I hated that one, too. I tried oh, a couple God, times. Because they had to be PC with the schmucks. It was stupid. Um, as PC as they... The love. The love one. The addicted to love or, or love too. something. Where the poster was just these two Crazy legs. Crazy stupid love. Yes. <laughs> that alone, I didn't want anything to do I with know, the movie. exactly. The movie's fucking great. Really? Hilarious. It's, it's... Faggot. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was. Uh, yeah, bring him right in. I, 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 whenever I see a trailer for that, I'm like, no, no, I can't. me too. No, no I'm not I can't doing it. Do it. Yeah, it yeah. got me to feel. Uh, What's up, Seth? Hey, Jim How are you, man? I'm great. How are you nice doing, man? You too. What's up, Seth? What's up, How's Seth? Doing, Take a seat. Hey, buddy. Just join right in. I think we're talking about dysfunctional childhoods oh, and uh, <laughs> all kinds of happy horse shit that yeah, went we, on. And we uh, you know, we just started discussing movies because I saw Fifty Fifty two nights ago. I fucking love this movie. Oh, thanks, man. And, but I was telling Brewer, 15 minutes in, I'm not going to lie to you, and it'll sell the movie in a weird way, maybe. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> but then something changed in the movie, and I was completely hooked, and it's a great fucking movie. It's Thank about you. cancer. It is about cancer. And it's not a laugh out riot. The, the humor's in it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we wanted to keep it realistic and honest, I guess. So, I mean, there's times when we were able to be very funny, but we didn't want to, like, you know sacrifice the reality just to tell jokes so right uh and you know our buddy actually had cancer so it was, yeah. it was we, we we had the a pretty good blueprint for what the experience was like and we didn't want to you know just fuck with his experience that much so right. it was it's he's a similar. survivor though he's alive sure. he's fine he's uh and he's, did you get you guys made York. jokes when he was going through the whole thing right yeah i mean honestly the whole time while he was going through it is when we would we would try to think of movie ideas about a young guy with cancer uh, <laughs> We'd always the, the, the first one we thought of like a like a fucked up version of the bucket list we'd call the fuck it list about like instead of like going to India and racing fucking cars and shit it was like about two guys who like try heroin and like yeah. kill a hooker in Bangkok and, like, <laughs> yeah. like, all the really fucked up shit you want to do before you die. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? Good to see you there. Good to see you, dude. Jimmy you know, Norton. I know him. And, of course. And uh, we've acted together. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Although they cut it together, we weren't in the same room. I know exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was shooting something else, I think. But <laughs> it's a whole other movie. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Bryce Howard's in the movie. Ron Howard's daughter. Yeah. She was, she was great. She's great in it. Yeah. She's really cool. Yeah, she man. was good in the Help. God, does she play a bitch really good? You're like, she was hateable I, in that I movie. I haven't seen that movie yet. I heard it. She's great. Good. She's I heard great. It's really good though. And is the old uh, Max Headroom guy? Was yeah. he one of the cancer guys? He was Matt Ford. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> I'm like, how do I know this? And I thought it was Max Fucking Headroom, Max but it, Hedrew, I, I was too lazy to look it up. But I'm, I'm thinking that's Max Headroom. It is cancer. Max Headroom. Yeah. That poor bastard still Max he was great. Headroom. Still Max Headroom. I'm sure he fucking hates it. But every yeah. time I was just like, so Max Headroom, what was that like? To <laughs> <laughs> what was, was, that? What was Max the, Headroom? I remember show seeing of the it. Future. Uh, it was the '80s, right? What was he supposed I don't to be? Think that's he was like I never a got personality, it. Yeah. Right? a futuristic. Like Oh God! Sorry. Yeah, no, I don't That's fucking right. know. I was like th four years old when it was on, I think. But like, yeah, he was like he was like a personality. He was yeah. no shit. He would he was in commercials and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, right. yeah. He had a TV show, and I, I think show. he became just a virtual person because yeah. he had actually died. But his his person being and consciousness was kind of put in a machine, like the lawnmower man. Or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Was it yeah. Cinemax? He was in Max Headroom. He was a no, 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 no. His it's first name so was Max. Okay. Max yeah. Hedrum was, uh, it, it actually was uh, right before he died. He died in a, a car crash in the show. And uh, the last sign he saw was, was Max, Maxima, Hedrum? Max Hedrum, like 12 feet. Oh. So it was like a tunnel entrance wow. or something. You know a lot yeah. about Max Hedrum. I just know a little bit about a lot of things. <laughs> impressive. He was, he was a pop icon, though, for a oh, while. Yeah, I mean, everyone was into Max Hedrum. But yeah. anyway, he shows up yeah. in 50 50 as a cancer guy. He does, yeah. He looked cancery. That's he looked cancer guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said in the, in the uh, breakdowns of the auditions. Yeah. <laughs> Someone looks cancery. But well, we realized he, actually, he also plays a cancer patient uh, in The Watchmen. Uh, he's uh, like an old superhero with cancer. So we're we're not the oh. only guys who thought he looked cancer. That's <laughs> one of his things. <laughs> Still haven't seen The Watchmen. I, no, I haven't. People I haven't. say it's a great movie. It's I just, pretty fucking I good. Fucking you got a kid, man. You're out. 
I am out. Is that I am it? Out. I got a kids. T- it's the only time we see films is on. Like I said, we're fl- get get me to Phoenix. Oh, That's good. right. I got, I got Do you watch movie. kids movies though? Yeah. Uh, yeah, painfully, yes. <laughs> there, no, there must be some good ones. Uh, gra- thank, thank God for Pixar. Yeah, right? Thank, thank God, God for Pixar, Pixar is what I say today. That's right. I've seen every one of the their movies days. 10 to 20 times. <laughs> and my kid's not even two years old yet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although they just graduated to like a Sherlock Holmes, because there's no, there's no like sex in there. Yeah. And they're not saying fuck you and all that. So kids just, are like, what? Just two detectives great. capping motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of killing. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That does seem to be fine. Yeah, that's okay. As long as right. people are dying and there's bloodshed. Dying, fine. Show the a tip and of elimination. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be problems if there's a tip. Yeah. But once again, fifty fifty is on Blu-ray tomorrow, I think. Uh, the 24th, I think. Oh, 24th. Okay, Something so like a couple that. more weeks. A couple more weeks. This movie might get a few nominations. It might. I think, I think it mm-hmm. might. I think the Will who wrote the screenplay has a shot. That's our The writing shot. was great. The writing is good. He's won a few awards so far for that. So uh, as frustrating as it is that he's never written anything else in his life, yeah. and he's getting more acclaim than I ever will in my entire <laughs> fucking life, I think he deserves every bit of it. That's his first... Screenplay. Screenplay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's it's pretty impressive. Some people. No, I really. Oh, the some nerve of some really people. Like Pinch <laughs> hitter. What's his name? <laughs> Will Riser. Yeah. Here comes He's Will Riser yeah. in the game. He's, He's the Brian Doyle up. of the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> No one's heard of the kid. However, he's got some hot shots under his wing. Yeah. And there's a drive on the first pitch. The center fielder doesn't even look back. Oh, my. Exactly. If Brian Doyle yeah. had cancer, it would be exactly. <laughs> so, all right, enough about 50-50, I guess. But no, I want to make great. sure people see it. I want to see it because I, I didn't know what it was, and I got a copy yesterday, but then instead I paid two girls to suck my penis for a lot of money. Really? I felt nice. that was the more important <laughs> act. Well. act. That's pretty good. To engage it. I can always watch the movie. <laughs> I w- that's, you, you made the right choice. Because yeah. totally <laughs> the DVD I have. Yeah, yeah but, you have the DVD. <laughs> but the, the two are connected because uh, Seth's character uses his uh, friend's cancer to try to get laid. So. Oh, that's true. Oh, fair enough. That's which is a great little enough. little angle in the movie. It Absolutely. The cancer kid's like a puppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy on the yes. Beach. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It speaks highly of you when you have a friend with cancer. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. They you're think right. you're sensitive and that you're, you'll you take care of them exactly. someday. Exactly. You look nurturing and accepting of people's uh, downtrodden. They have no idea that you're bilking him out of his life savings. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Stem cell lies. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Were there any uh, heavy moments on the Like when you're shooting a movie about something like that, were there any kind of moments where people got uncomfortable? Uh, not really. I mean, there's, there's one or two intense moments in the movie, but uh, it's not that fucking... No, it's not that weird. Everyone's acting and everyone's... Yeah, no one's like in character all day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not <laughs> it's like, none of those guys. No, it's none of those yeah. guys. I mean, I think like in some of the scenes, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who plays uh, the main character, like, yeah, he has to go to a pretty dark place emotionally, and you can't just jump well, into that sometimes. Mm. But he's a normal dude to work with. And, but how you handle it, they're uh, getting chemo, and they're eating like pot cookies or brownies, whatever. Yeah. And then he's got to leave the hospital after his chemo, and he's l- laughing hysterically at all this horrific cancer shit on the way out, <laughs> oh, which was brilliant, man. Thanks. Oof. One guy is obviously dead because they're wheeling him down to another part of the hospital, and he's just fucking laughing hysterically because he's so fucked up. Yeah. that I like that scene, too. <laughs> Did you? And yeah, to us, that was like the blueprint for the whole movie, kind yeah. of. We're like, okay. if, if the whole movie feels like this kind of, then that then that's a cool... You're saying yeah. it doesn't go into a terms of endearment type... No, Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah. But uh, Although, yeah, that's really. brought up, too. We brought oh, up terms oh, of endearment. Oh, you, do. you yeah, have you to do. nod to it. Yeah, that's it's cool. hard not Just to. Just trying to prove to Seth I saw a stupid movie. I'm, I'm glad glad I'm sorry, did. Seth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have not seen it, but I mean... We faked this shit, but I actually yeah, exactly. saw this one. Nicholson is an astronaut was very good in terms of endearment. Yeah. <laughs> I want to somehow contribute to the conversation. You, you definitely saw that movie. You, you, you definitely plays an astronaut. I wanted a hero. I mean, who yeah. knows? Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I, I usually have problems watching uh, those types of movies. Yeah. Uh, because I always think I'm going to like figure out that I have that. Yeah, I'm I'm terrible. I'm a terrible movie hypochondriac. Right. It happened. I mean, it happened years ago when I was a kid watching Brian's song. Mm. I'm like, ah, I'm running and I'm tired. Shit. <laughs> ah, I got it. <laughs> Fuck. Let, let me. Let me my, my good friend Anthony. Here's what Anthony is afraid of: that the same thing will happen now that happened during Brian's song. 
a little tear will come down, and his father will yell, "You faggot, quit crying!" <laughs> so he's convinced himself oh, maybe that, too. that it's hypochondria when he's really just terrified of oh, his crying. Is that of emotion? Yeah, Showing any sad. emotion during? Uh, I love a, a good movie. sad movie. Love it. You cry like a baby, don't I'm you? I'm the fucking really. I'm a wash really? woman. You love I, it. I really am horrible. <laughs> Name one. Name one. Cuckoo's Nest makes me cry. Cuckoo's oh, that's Nest. a great flick. Tragic at the end. It's yeah, a see, great I'm, movie. I, Tragic. I've, I'm in the kid where that. Did, did you see Up? Of course. Yeah. Did why, you cry it up? Yeah, but why the did, beginning you, of did up. you cry yeah. it up? Fucking <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> well, We were just discussing this over the weekend. Why did she have to have an empty womb? Dude, they didn't need that part of the story. Dude, that's that, to get you. Yes. Yeah, but amazing. you're talking to eight-year-olds. Yeah. yeah to, kids should know what an empty womb is at a very young age. <laughs> <laughs> that what kid re yeah, Manga brought me in. It's a cartoon. If you want to watch Up, Dad? Yeah, the balloons, the guy. I get it. <laughs> Eight minutes into the movie, like I'm in the back. You're crying like hysterically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of fucking movie is this? <laughs> she was never able to have kids. That's like, a laugh riot. Right. Yeah. What like, the fuck? It's like every Disney movie. Kids Kill the mother in the first scene. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. No, Immediately. They, they emotionally fuck with you. Yes. Yeah. It's it was ballsy. great, though. It is ballsy. They yeah. fucking go for it. I don't like it. What's up. better than blubbering during a movie? You can feel you like a real like person. Yeah. I love it. I That's love so it. Odd. It makes me feel so connected. Like, I'm not so lost. I'm so that I can't be connected. What's the last, like, new movie that made you cry that you saw? I don't know. Crash makes me cry when I watch it, although it's a few years old. Yeah. Um, I'd have to think. Of the last movie I saw oh. that made me, uh, Fuck, I can't. the help did not. No, fifty fifty might make you cry. It might, yeah, yeah. There's a chance. But you enjoy that? Love it. See, I find it very uncomfortable. Do you no. hide it? Do you just no. fucking go for it? I don't give it? a fuck. Yeah, no, man. Care, I, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm proving I'm harsh and. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I can, I can catch a football, goddammit. <laughs> I cried through every episode of Lost. I, I just did. I don't know why. Just every made, episode of Lost? In the beginning. And that's later yeah. ones. Yeah, the, the first season made me cry. I don't know why. Hmm. Just did. Wow. But I don't cry hmm. in, in other places. I cry in weird... I cry in weird things, like some movie trailers will make me cry sometimes, when it's not even an emotional movie, like a big epic like action movie trailer will yeah. like, make me cry Just sometimes. Just something where a good huh. cut or a big what? stinger from yeah, exactly. the music kicks in, you're like, it, huh. it gets me, yeah. yeah. Where were you, Ma? <laughs> 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 what about this new Tom Hanks movie? That looks like it's going to be That looks fucking, fucking depressing. Uh, yeah, What's it called? Like... The poster is literally just a kid crying. Yeah. It's the most fucked up oh. thing ever. He loses yeah. a father. Yeah. Twin yeah. Towers deal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He loses his father, but let's add Twin Towers loss. Yeah, right. He's in the towers. Yeah, that is right. pretty bad. And then he leaves behind a key, and then it's a treasure hunt type movie. I Last guess. fucking movie that made me cry. Fuck new? I don't know. I don't, I'll have to think about it. God damn it. Mission Impossible is rough at times. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> Emotionally, it was pretty rough. When they break that window, I'm like, oh, the cost. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to fix. Yeah. Do, you, do you hide it if you were, uh, like, you know, do you, do you hide it? I think I might. No. Uh, when when I cry in a movie, it depends how weirdly a place I'm crying in. I think if like if it's a time when everyone's crying, then yeah. I won't hide. Even it so alone, much. I, I feel uncomfortable. You do the rapid blink. <laughs> you blink quickly because you feel like if you stop blinking, it's just going to pour out. So your tears are kind of like being held back by like your eye. <laughs> yeah, fucking like little hummingbird wings blinking. No, <laughs> even alone, uncomfortable with somebody, I can't even deal with with that kind of emotional. Uh, uh, outburst. But did you ever have it come down like with like? Well, here's what you do: you sit your chick in front of you, like you, you hold her head a little, like you put your arm around her so she sinks down and she's watching, yeah. and she can't look left and just see your yeah. downstream. Yeah, the non-man. Yeah. No, I've never that she's gotten to that uh, that point. I could actually really like. I'll, I would bite my tongue, just <laughs> anything to stop it, to tamp it down deeper and deeper and really? deeper. We gotta yeah. let some of that shit yeah. out. Start yeah. Yeah. laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that faggot. Yeah. <laughs> Say something obnoxious. <laughs> Still, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to, to make a joke about it or something. Yeah, yeah fuck Schindler and his list. It's a movie, yeah. 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 Looks like It looks like a turtle shell in that crib. It's not really a candy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. My mother told me that exactly. many years ago when I was a kid. She's like, you will always say something obnoxious to push it away when you feel sad. Yeah. Oh, and then you stop doing it at that age. Oh, no, broke. I still did yeah. it, but it's like, I'm more comfortable with it now. Didn't your chick at the time? Like make fun of you once when you're crying at a movie. My ex does. Still, yeah. We're still good friends. She just told yeah. me I'm a fucking what a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't, she's a fucking. I'm like you're a fucking mutant. You're not a. Human. She never cries. <laughs> never. <laughs> We've watched everything together and nothing out of that fucking robot face bitch. 
<laughs> impervious, huh? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing gets her. Well, she didn't care, though. She's, you know, she thought it was funny. Well, you know what happened to my family, Jimbo. I'm just saying, stick with that girl. You know where you're going. Wheelchair bound and beaten. Believe me, don't think I didn't think of that, that she wouldn't fucking light me up if I was in a fucking wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking 50 years from now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Crying lost, you fucking queer guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. I can't queer. even. I'm trying to think of the last movie that really kind of got me, and yeah. and eh, nothing, nothing recently. I mean, no. nothing. But maybe an older movie. You know what? Almost recently, it was an older movie, but I watched it recently, and I was like, if I, got, I think if I wanted to, I could. A uh, uh, Paper Moon. That old movie, Paper Moon, <laughs> with Paper Ryan O'Neill oh. and, and Tatum O'Neill. Man, it's black I, and white. I don't have any recollection. Did Bogdanovich do that one? I uh, yeah, I didn't see that. One. <laughs> that's good. Well, <laughs> well to make you fucking cry. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, but uh, but nothing. Yeah. I just can't bring nothing. myself. When animals die in movies, I get fucked yeah? up a little bit. Dogs dying, sad, like a sad dog dying scene. That I watched, like literally the end of Marley and Me, and started crying. And that was just it. the part when the dog died. I, I didn't no, see that. No emotional <laughs> investment you, you whatsoever. No I didn't give a fuck. I didn't know anything about that. This dog could have been a fucking rapist, and I didn't know. And I was still just like blubbering at the sight of this dog. It was terrible. I assume it's not a rapist. I haven't again. Have not seen Marley and Me. Could assume it's not a rapist. Yeah, I didn't see that. I wanted to see it just for that, though, because I knew the dog died, and it'd probably yank a good one out of me. Yeah. It would, yeah. It, 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 so just it get was that part. brutal. Literally, like, the breathing is slowing. It's like, oh, man, that's brutal. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. It's little eyes closed. It's like that. Why put yourself <laughs> through that? You should, because it's human. That's my school of thought. No, it's not. Because it's when stupid. you're avoiding there's stuff like human, that now. There's, there's enough real shit in life to make you feel yeah, sad. Yeah, but you don't cry at that either. Well, I know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm saying. It's not like I don't let want it out. to. It's times... It's unhealthy to hold it. Don't you see me. horrible things every day and you look and go, wow, that's I'm terrible. sitting next to one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Come on, bruise a guest. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, man. It's just, uh, it's just to go out of your way, I think, to know that you're going to shit. You're going to choke up at a movie. It's well, a movie weird. takes you through an experience. That's what you do when you go see Yeah, but sometimes it is bullshit. Like, movies can make you cry, I think, like, from... No like, I do love those Pixar movies, but I do remember seeing, like, Finding Nemo and Up, and, like, they just hit you so... It's yeah. like it's like they've worked out, like, a mathematical formula right. to make you <laughs> fucking yeah. break down and cry. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like it's like you like four minutes of establishment with one music cue coupled with a death, and you're fucking done, and that's it. <laughs> and they just know. You're, you're, it's like they hit a button, and they're like... And now men will cry. Well, it feels manipulative. When it feels yeah. manipulative, I don't like it. When it's natural, or when it's something like, oh, that was a great fucking yeah. moment. Um, when you feel like they're not trying to make you cry. Yeah, when it's cry, just, it's incidental. Like good. Yeah. What's yeah. your top comedy movies? You, you're home with your gang. Burning. Yeah, you're <laughs> home with your gang. That guy be crying when he has a little epilogue titles of what happened to the guys afterwards. <laughs> oh, Mr. Townley, how did you get in so much? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> never, never, never. I say. Uh, <laughs> is my, yeah, that's a good question. Top uh, comedies. Uh, I think I like the Big Lebowski a lot. Fuck that's yeah. one of my favorite. Always movies. goes back to that. So uh, Big Lebowski, a big Lebowski. Yeah, it's yeah. like really rewatchable. I think that's mm. what's really funny. About it's it, timeless. Yeah, it's mm. easy to watch. That's a timeless. really fucking funny movie. Used Cars, maybe. I loved Used Cars. Used Kurt cars. Russell, wow. Jack Warden, fucking Fright McRae was one of the funniest guys ever. Wow. Um, I love fucking. I really loved Observe and Report. Oh, that's thanks, fucking. Man. I've raved yeah. about that movie since Absolutely. the day I saw it. It was thanks. brutal. It was nice to see a brutal comedy. <laughs> it's a really brutal movie. Yeah. 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 I love it. We fucking love that one. Love thanks. it because it was more honest than that dumb mall cop. Yeah. I thought something about Mary Kay. Oh, were you in Mall Cop, Jim Bruce? No, no, okay. no. Yeah. <laughs> no. I fucking hated that movie, and I tried. Yeah. Adam was forty five. <laughs> 45 minutes one, in, I still didn't laugh once. No, and I'm like, why tough. did? Why is everyone loving this movie? I didn't get it. I yeah, know, it was the same with me. That was confusing. Family. Family. That was confusing to the Observer the kids Report loved team. It. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Observer Report had a million laughs. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the those guys are awesome. Kids loved yeah. it. Jody oh, Hill and, uh, yeah. Those what did Ray Liotta say? I hate your fucking guts! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking 
faggot. That's fucking great. That really scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh, my God. I almost shat my pants. He really went off the fucking rails. Yeah, he's a crazy dude. We had him in, man. I was intimidated by him. Yeah, he's a little scary, right? Who? Yeah, he is. Just being Ray Liotta. Just being him. I was intimidated by him. Like, when you make him laugh really hard, and then you get the full, like, Ray Liotta laugh, that's, like, the most exciting thing. That one he said didn't know Goodfellas. Yeah. And it's so, like, angry. It's like an angry yeah. laugh. It's like part of it's like, fuck you for making me do this. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. have a, we have a bad day because uh, we have the hoarder lady, too, now. Good, yeah. she's good. We she... overbooked yesterday. Ew, who else is hoarder? Rob, she's a Th therapist Robin, on hoarders. Uh, you watch oh, that show, wow. Hoarders? That show's fucking... Isn't it fucking... It's fucked up. She'll fit in. Yeah. You want to have two for this? It's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, why do people do that? I, I don't know. She's coming in? And every yeah, time I watch it, I, I get angry. Seconds. Yeah. I just want to... I'm like, burn the place down. Burn the fucking place but down. But then they talk about if you do that, they'll just hoard new shit. Yeah. Right? That's the whole thing. I mean, with them in it. They just start all... Yeah. I mean, kill them. They should be hoarding salve to put on their wounds. Why bother? They just start over. That's true. They just start over. Uh, I've, been, I've been watching so many episodes, and I just see but this whole enabling like, thing. Their kids, like, it's all because like their mom threw out their favorite toy when they were yeah. ten years right. old, yeah, and then, yeah. they, then they hoard shit. And they That's hoard it. it it's yeah. amazing. It really is amazing. My dad does that a off. bit. Like my, yeah. there's a very clear like my dad's mom threw out his toys when he was twelve, and he <laughs> fucking keeps everything. Like it's yeah. not, it's yeah. not like this, obviously. But is he like, sloppy right. or is he neat? He's neat about it. Like it's kind of organized in his way, but like you can tell that he doesn't like to get rid of things. He likes to like see all his belongings and right. piles, kind of. Like, wow, that's yeah, that's a yeah. Th that's a thing. And he's... it's so clear, but he knows. He knows it's all because his mom threw his shit out. Like yeah. it's not like subconscious. Mm. He's like is that OCD okay. too, though. Is, is it yes, the same? definitely. It's got to be a combination of the two, right? Yeah. yeah, there's definitely some mm. like sense that. Uh, Something bad will happen if the stuff isn't like that. I guess yeah, that's like, what makes what it bad. Here she is. Oh, there you go. How you been? Robin's Hi, back. How are you? Robin. Let's bring, no, stay with me. Just bring us. Just sit right there. Or yeah. move her to the table. We'll yeah, just move her to the in table. Sit with all of us. We'll bring a mic. Yeah, get, get, get a goddamn awesome chair and <laughs> Robin. And smell come good. on in here. I'm get over here. Scared. Like having it. No. You know Seth. You know Seth Rogen too, right? Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you, Jim Brewer? Good to see you again. And Jim Brewer behind you, of course, the great Jim Brewer. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Sam's putting Jim. a microphone up for Jim. We have been, uh, believe it or not, we're on the air. Uh, we have... <laughs> I know. People are uh, driving to work right now. Yeah, <laughs> driving, listening, I hope. Listening to this shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you see uh, Seth's movie, 50-50? I haven't. Well, you better. That's Fuck. why he's here, and it's a great movie. <laughs> we're talking about emotion and how men don't like to cry during movies. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, psychologist. Fuck. Yeah, you we're understand that. Now, man. Yeah. Like, Anthony won't cry at a movie. I, I'm a blubbering I sissy. Even alone, I feel like, oh, don't do it, don't, so don't what, do what it. What are you afraid of? I don't know. You tell me. Let's talk about <laughs> you're, it. You're the doc. You tell me. <laughs> that it'll just never know. stop. That's what I'm That's Maybe what it'll just <laughs> never stop. Once just that plug stop. gets pulled, <laughs> I'll be a wreck for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're afraid I don't know. of I find it. I find it uh, embarrassing. It, it, it embarrasses. It. I don't know why. I guess the easy answer would be, you know, oh, well, obviously you must think it's not manly or something. But that really isn't it. I don't feel that part of it. You know, I just I, find I it some time after the segment we could, you know, yeah. process it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that sounds like an offer or I'm, <laughs> I'm a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Case study. Process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a loss of control, too. People are afraid of losing control when you're crying. You're well, I know I'm not going to be a blubbering mess rolling around the house or something, but, you know, even even just, I don't know. I think because it, it starts making you question why you're crying. It's like, all right, it's sad. I know that. But what about it is so sad? And why does that make me sad? And then maybe it gets a little deeper into the, the brain than I really want to get. Well, yeah. you know, when I'm watching something really sad and I don't want to cry just because the same reason, you just feel like it's all going to go, mm. I just remember, like, it's not real. It's a movie. It's not oh, real. So, yeah, you know? I do that. What makes you sad? Like, when you see, like, a neat apartment? <laughs> like, oh, <God. laughs> uh, I'm going to go broke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not going to have a job. <laughs> no more shows. But it is real is what's fucked up because, like, the emotions it makes you think of are totally right. real. Even And I think that's why it's – I think that's why I know I don't like to cry in a movie because it's obvious you're not crying at the fucking fish that got eaten. You're crying about there's some a other reason. shit in your own Right, life. right. It there's resonates about somehow. Fish it's tapping into something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's got to be something there. It's more intimidating just to break down and look around like, yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, that's Soak what it is. In. You just don't want to – 
you don't want to be in that position where you got to start asking yourself why. Yeah. Why am I there? That's why I, I'm asked all the time, like, why, uh, oh, you fall asleep with the TV on at night? Why? It's like, so I don't have to be with my thoughts. Yeah. yeah you know, I don't want to delve too deep into, you know, my own memories. Psyche. Who wants to remember Not when a small boy, uh, psst, wake up. No, that wake never, no, as far as I know, I, I don't remember it, and I think I remember my whole childhood. No, I had, I had great other shit going on at the, at the time. But it's like, it's like, I just, I don't know, you, you think too much, you can't go to sleep. I'm telling you, the mind is a dangerous place. It is. I'm telling you. I know, it's, it's, it's uh, amazing. And, and, and with, of course, you're here, uh, uh, Hoarders, you're on, on Hoarders. Uh, I was just watching you, of course, again, and I know you've been here in the past, and we've discussed it, and I hate the way these people are handled with the kid gloves. And uh, But you said it last time, you go, well, people are constantly berating them and yelling at them to clean up the place, and if that doesn't work, so we try the different approach. Now, I don't totally agree, because a lot of the people I see on these shows, they're enablers. They don't tell them, hey, clean this shit up. But they're like, okay, well, well, she wants to hang on to these things and do like so I think someone's really got to take charge. I do. Haven't you seen? Yeah, me but on you the give show? them that. You give them that. Like, all right, you're gonna look through everything. If there's, you make sure you look. And I'm just looking at the house being a mess. Going, you can't look at everything. There's too much stuff. Well, that's true, but you know, I mean, I think you have to remember that we're there to avert a crisis. Like, we don't really think that we're going to clean up the house in two days. Like, sometimes right. it happens. Um, you know, I recently did a shoot where, you know, basically everything did go. It was just, you know, scooping it and throwing it in the, the dumpster. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the reality is, is a lot of people who are compulsive hoarders do have some good stuff. I think that we tend to think that it's all <laughs> right. It's all garbage. It's, it's, it's actually good. Yeah, I never even thought of that. I never fucking thought of that at all. <laughs> I always yeah. assume it's newspapers and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dog food. TV Seriously. guides and stuff, yeah. <laughs> they would throw out these Joe DiMaggio rookie cards. Oh, okay, space. well, that would be good. Never. I mean, you know, in the midst of all of it, you do find some good stuff. We just came back from um, Texas, and, you know, there was a lot of good stuff there. What was know? good that you found in someone's house that they had a lot Porter of? should team up with American Pickers. Yeah. 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 Kind of like yes. They buy the couple good shit and <laughs> fucking clean up on the rest. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of different uh, kind of classifications of hoarder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you put them in that, uh, but there are the, the hoarders that it is mostly clutter. Mm -hmm. uh, they're almost, you can almost consider it organized. Things are stacked up against the walls and maybe plastic hoard. containers. Yes, the organized hoard. Then there is the cluttered hoard where it's not stacked up nicely. It's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. But still, it is clothes and goods and things like that. Then there's what I call the ratings grabber. Here we <laughs> yeah. go. Like the, the dirty disgusting like raccoon garbage. living in the fucking shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Human feces in the bathtub. Uh, roaches now are making a big hit. Roaches. <laughs> if you can, if, They're on a comeback. They that's are, that's man, if you can open up a cabinet and have roaches just <laughs> flying out of this thing, <laughs> I am watching. <laughs> Wait till you see what's going to come. Oh. Yes. Are you know, people getting grosser? No, they see they're getting attention for it. Um, <laughs> on purpose, yeah. right? I, I, I wouldn't normally shit that. the tub. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm competing with the uh, last lady. I, I'm telling you, this last place that I was at, it was unbelievable. It was yeah. unbelievable. I mean, every time you scooped, they just ran everywhere, uh, and, and they were and they flew. They flew. Oh, and, and they, yes. for some reason, they always Jeez. want to fly at your face. Yeah, you know? it's like, yeah. Why can't you fly somewhere else? And, and what, yeah. what do you do when you leave these? Because you don't want to bring them back to your house. Do you? Do you have to? You got to get them off of you. So like a decontamination. Yeah, process. yeah. No, no. A I mean, hoarder it's not like you know, I'm covered in roaches. You got to get naked. Is what you got to do. Make sure it's not hiding. Right? <laughs> I knew. Ugh. I knew. Right? I knew it take right? it there. Yeah. <laughs> How about bed bugs? They scare me too. You don't want to go home Fuck, with a bed bug yeah. in your pant cuff. <laughs> You imagine a pregnant bed bug in your pant cuff? That's all of it takes, oh, Jimmy. That, that's the nightmare right there. Yeah. Yeah. And it only takes uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're like, What's yeah. that? I said, where do you get this stuff? A pregnant bed bug? Well, they have to somehow. <laughs> yeah. Little bed bugs yeah. don't just crop up. <laughs> bed bugs like to fuck. Right. <laughs> have you, have you oh, over the years that you've been doing this show now, uh, it's been a, f a few years, how many? Uh, about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, have you noticed anything or done anything differently over the course of the years where you notice, like, okay, I'm kind of seeing this happening more often and this is the best way to deal with it? 
I never know what I'm going to walk into. You know, we, we get the Always with a smile, and we see pictures, well, and then you, you walk in, and sometimes it's a completely different story. It's it's worse, or it's not as bad, and it's um it's always a crapshoot. You never how know they, what you're walking do you, into. How they greet you with a smile on their face when they open that door, like they're opening it to, you know, a palatial, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my home. They're yes. like, hi, come on in, hello. <laughs> And you guys are like, hi! <laughs> but they really like, don't think it's... A big they, they don't think it looks weird, though, anymore, right? Like, to them, it's, like, kind of normal, right? Or um, You know, you guys see them in denial. And I think that there's some reality of why they're not letting people in their house. Because they mm. know, like, this is a little out of control or a lot out of control. Um, you know, I mean, there's some level of awareness. I really believe that, you know? People stay in denial because they're scared. If you acknowledge there's a problem, then you have to do something about it. About it, I've noticed know? a lot of excuses going on with these people. Oh, man, just excuse after excuse. They won't take the blame and put it on themselves. And when they say that uh, the most important thing to them is, and then they'll name a few things, uh, one of which should be, and sometimes is their family. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, my family, my kids are the most important thing in the world. Yet their actions show that their family is not the most important thing. It's their collection of some yeah. like uh, cookie cera tins ceramic fucking <laughs> penguins <of> yeah <laughs> cookie tins <laughs> salsa lids <laughs> I love my children but where will I put my cookies without this tin <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, we talked about this last time. I mean, you know, compulsive hoarding is a form of mental illness, period. At the end of the day, they got brain chemistry stuff going on. Oh, well, and, you yeah. know, going back to your question, like, you know, people don't, you know, fill up their houses overnight. And so it's like, do they see this? Well, I don't think that they do necessarily because they're slowly bringing in stuff. They're, what about you know? the people that live with them? Yeah, the right? enablers. Right. Yeah, they're, they're not alone. How about they notice and do something? I've rarely seen a husband that I have any respect for on those shows. Right. I look and go, what are you doing that you allowed this to even get to this point? I think that one of the reasons why people don't take a stand is they're scared to death because oftentimes people who are hoarding stuff defend their stuff so much and they start using anger to get people to back off. I don't know if you saw the show with Eileen where she uh, blamed everything on the children and the husband was, oh, a, yeah. he was a firefighter. Yeah. At one point, I'm like, you're a mandated reporter. Like, you're living in this. What's going on? And he was so scared of her that he just couldn't was take she, a stand. Was she the heavy set gal? That doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> narrow it down on horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I am always, uh, it is amazing how a lot of the times they are from that same mold, a, a large mold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. Horses tend to be a little more yeah, overweight. Like, is it like... It I mean, you say it's like a chemical imbalance, but then how come, like, sociologically, there seems to be so many similarities mm. between the people that have this problem? I believe that when you're living in an environment like that and you're literally stepping over stuff and, you know, walking through goat paths, you're not exercising, you're not eating healthy, you can't even cook in the in the kitchen. And so you're you're bringing in takeout and, you know, you're not, yeah, you're, you look, you're not living yeah. in a healthy yeah. environment. You're not right. Got to roll around the house like either. a ninja. How do they sleep with all the roaches scampering around? That would drive me nuts. I'm telling you, I mean, again, wait till you see this uh. episode that's going to air. I it, it was uncomfortable just standing there, let alone thinking about. Did they crawl the on you? Uh, I, yeah. 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 Uh -oh. You know, but you brought them home it's, with you. It's yeah. Just, I, um, yeah. No, no, I can't. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, Do you hoard it? Because your book is called. She wrote a book called "The Hoarder in You: How to Live a Healthier, Happier, Uncluttered Life." And I understand it to a certain because I clutter a little bit. Like I save like celebrity a little? stuff, but, well, but I'm, I'm not. I'm I don't have your guys' desk here. You know. Well, uh, this will be cleaned yeah, up it's, uh... by the uh, the uh, the intern. <laughs> just here I, to admire our talent. It. This is good. I can use this. Mm -hmm. I can use this. I need <laughs> the strap is fine. So help me understand why you need goggles in. Uh, your, uh, uh, that was uh, earlier. Uh, what's, is, we were doing prostate tests. <laughs> Those are my other you fifty know what? goggles. I knew that was a mistake to go. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. You never know when an accident will occur. Oh, Dr. Robin. No, this guy, Sam, is a bit of a hoarder. And um, yeah. he's a cheapskate, and he's a bit of OCD. He's a horrible chiseler, and we made him break his shitty 12-inch TV today. 
We broke it so we can get a 20 well, kilo. Explain it to Seth. It's a it's a 12 inch quasar from 1990 what? Good 99. 99. A 12 inch okay. cathode ray. It's a 12 inch TV in his yeah. and you guys, kept it. First of all, if he's a hoarder, you know if you broke his TV, he's going to keep it still cuz you know he's going to fix it someday. Oh, that's true. Someday right? I'll fix oh, it. Gonna, you plan I guarantee on keeping you, that TV? next year when I come back, he'll still have you're, that TV. You're, 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 broken TV. She's not that far off. He he, he didn't say because he couldn't cuz it was broken in well, here. Well, Sam, explain your major thing you do. To, to Robin. Yes. So so we she could read you. Well, I have my wrestling collection. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You were trying yes. so hard. Wrestling collection. Yes. He collects no. older gentlemen no. to hold them down. You <laughs> 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 wrestling experience. <laughs> yes, in rest areas. It's not just action <laughs> figures, which he has thousands of at this point. No, I just collect wrestling things and. He has to tape every no, but you single tape. wrestling show. And, and then he puts it on DVD and yeah. saves them. And I go, why are you saving these? Like, you don't watch them. I was just going to say, and I bet he doesn't watch them. No. Yeah. I don't have time to watch them. There's, so I have to tape the next one. Too, much, too busy <laughs> fucking taping them. <laughs> like, there's no reason for you to catalog but, these episodes. But if he misses one, it really bothers, bothers him. It, it freaks yeah. him the yeah. fuck out. Wow. I have a theory. Um, Sam's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Clinically. So, yeah. so, yeah. What's with this need to record every single wrestling what match? Yeah, every show, every When TV you were young, show. did your mom not let you watch an episode uh, wrestling thing one day and then that's No, but like I want to be able to if there is a moment, because what if I miss? That's the moment that it's I miss. So it's a what if. But what so about I, the internet? Couldn't you go back? Right, like, that's what I was saying. Never a good exactly. moment. Exactly. If by some miracle something interesting actually <laughs> happened in wrestling, <laughs> don't you think they would put it online to right. fucking commemorate the fact that something yes. interesting happened? Yeah. In he doesn't the world want to acknowledge wrestling? the internet, though. Well, no, you don't know when you can't get online or when you can't. <laughs> why couldn't you? Oh my <laughs> god! What is this? 1990? The one, the yeah, one. why couldn't you? Well, my dial-up keeps cutting off. So now he can't even, you know. Well, that was to force him to, to force him to get a flat screen. To get a bigger TV. Bigger so he TV. went from a 12 inch to a 22 inch. He got a 22 inch. 200 bucks. TV. It doesn't need to be over the top. He's a cheapskate, though. Why like are you watching TV in the bedroom? Why are you watching? Oh, yeah. oh. Hey, good oh, point. Wow. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Oh. Meanwhile, yeah. that strap on is still sitting in the wrapping. Oh, Doctor Robin! Sorry. Oh, wow. you, you did uh, it yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, he's. W what is it with hoarders and being cheap? Like this fear of running out. What is it? You know what, though? It's, you know, again, I know you're looking at the hoard of stuff and you think it's all garbage, but people are going into serious financial debt going out and spending and buying stuff. You know? Yeah, why, though? They don't need to. Well, if it was that easy, then, you know, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about compulsive hoarding. It like, does you know? seem like when you talk to them that they do understand that there's a problem that needs to be remedied. And it seems to be as easy as just throwing the crap away that you don't need. I can understand them going, well, there's some good stuff here. All right, pick out the good stuff. But they're going through this cat urine-soaked box for a book that they had since the ninth grade. <laughs> and it's like, maybe, maybe you could let that it's like, go. There's roach eggs on it. You're not yeah. going to read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, in their mind, someday they will. It's sort of like right. the CMU. someday, just in yeah. case. You know, someday, I think it, when he says he has a moment, like, yeah. really? I think it's all a fear of death. I think it all is like... Is that what everything boils down I to? I think it is. Yeah, it's all right. like, I'm going to die one day, and what if I never get to experience these things mm. ever again? And so I'm going to have them around... And to to make sure that my, that this chapter isn't over, that it's not done with, it's it's always available for me to go back to, like leaving a legacy. Yeah, mm. I'm more fascinated that wrestling still exists. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty eight. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, that's he's getting married. He has a fiance. That's wow. embarrassing. A very, a very understanding. And yeah. Very yeah. Very yeah. Man, <laughs> way out of his fucking league, man. <laughs> we all see this as a problem. Do you see this as a problem, Sam? No, it doesn't hinder my life whatsoever. Robin, talk to this numbskull. Is there like well, what's the line between like hobbies and fucking right that shit? Yeah. I mean, the reality is, if you have a hobby, you hopefully can do something with it but you know 80,000 wrestling episodes like <laughs> you've never watched yeah. you're not going to even get to it 
Yeah, but the passion for that wrestling is shared with everybody you know on the air Someday here I'm going to write a book called Yeah But. Yeah I'm But. Yeah, yeah, yeah But. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah But. 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 You don't understand. Okay, it's two words. Yeah. And the little line under it could be, Examples of when people say, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy knows how to ruin a title. <laughs> you know, Sam, people will get that. Is, yeah. you, know, can, you know, do another episode with you, you know. But, but when I watch Hoarders, I go... Well, my apartment's not nearly that bad, so I can, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I'm everyone fine. who watches Hoarders, yeah. Sees yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> he goes to the dump. Watch Hoarders and say that. Yeah. <laughs> and sure the, the Hoarders who watch Hoarders are the reason why his, his apartment isn't bad yet is because a lot of his shit is at his parents' house. Mm. They're oh, the enablers in this like situation. But his out. mother hoards things about him. She has his creepy little Cub Scout uniforms. She has his hair. From when he, 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 the therapist not a little lock of hair, the entire hair from a haircut put in Tupperware. Serious? His mother. Serious. Tupperware? Yeah. It's crazy. From when yeah. he had an afro, what, when you were 20 or something like that? Yeah, I was about 20, she and then my saved mom it cut when it he... all off, and then she saved it in a Tupperware. I didn't ask her to save that hair. That's her uh -huh. thing. That's her hair. That's her picture That's... frame. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So my now baby. So putting his horn on his mom saying, oh, no, no, I didn't See? The excuse, the yeah, but, all that stuff. I bet you he wants her to keep it. You think so? I am not going there. I oh. bet he does. I bet he does. That means something special to him, like mommy loves me. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. In a sense, like if she throws it out now, she doesn't care like she used to. Do you, oh. oh. Do you oh. Yeah. She just doesn't want a fucking <laughs> container of hair in her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. She doesn't want to be reminded of something that sat on an empty shell. <laughs> 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 Carry it around with her, you know, so that she can, you know, have a piece of you. Yeah. No, she keeps it all in the Tupperware in the cupboard. Did she ever explain why she kept? No, it? she has no explanation for why. She can't explain it. It's not an explainable thing, though. I'll tell you right now why she does it. Mm. Why? She fears that if she throws out the hair, she's throwing out a piece of him. Right. Right. Yeah. Whereas well, she should have thrown out all of them <laughs> <laughs> when she first got the news from the doctor. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 You're on your own. Uh, you're on your own. Wow. Wow. I've never heard her say that on any other show. Wow. But ten minutes in here, and hey, you're on your own. Wow. You know what? That's not good when the doctor walks in a house and goes, you know what? You're on your yeah, own. You're on your own. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is bizarre, though, right? That his mom, they have this weird thing. Like, you think you're throwing out a piece of, you're not, it's bizarre. So he's got issues, right? Because he doesn't listen to us. Look, we all have issues. Well, you know? sure. I mean, yeah. But we're not focusing just, on us today. Know. We're focusing <laughs> on us. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk about your uh, issues. Oh, no. It's yeah. okay. He's got some I, good I, ones. I do have some good ones. I like this. I got a mama issue. Really? Mm. I can help you with that, too. That's all right. I, you know, I think, I think we should do a group therapy, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think at this should point, do group you know? here. Just hold hands. Let's go around the room. Mom issue, aunt. Oh, please. I don't even... Uh, Everything. It's too many to count. Too many to count. He has a fear of crying. Yeah, fear of crying. Yeah, yeah Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just embarrassed that, like, my genitals are just like, freakishly large. <laughs> <laughs> That's your cross to bear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's an embarrassment of riches. It's tough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you just stay home and, like, write these things? Uh, yeah. You know, pull them out like, oh, yeah, this is a new one. <laughs> you know, I have plenty of issues, but I, I'm, a, I'm very comfortable talking about them. I'm a sex addict. You know, yeah, we all talk about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, Robin. I hoard, I hoard sexual stuff. Like, uh, like, you know, uh, all the photos I have oh, from people. Yeah, like, you know, a finger from something. <laughs> you know, so like got serial, taking trophies. Yeah. He's got serial killer type files. But, but, like, no, but like just like porn <laughs> and stuff like that, I hoarded for the same like stuff that I've watched. I don't just go out and grab yeah. it, but I'm afraid of wanting it and not having it. It's this fear of running out. It's so stupid. Hmm. Well, you know, where'd Sam go? Oh, there She's he is. Over there. He moved. He moved. Yeah. You know, you guys, well, he, I'm telling you, you're not far off the control. Avoid. <laughs> no, I yeah, it's yeah. There's, uh, I feel like I used to be like that, and then I started just throwing everything out. Like, I used to keep, like, every time I was in a magazine or newspaper, I would keep it, and then I just. One day I was like, I don't want any of this fucking shit. Mm. I still do save that stuff, though. I don't find that yeah. to be as crazy to, to like look at in 20 it's all years. Online. Who cares? That's not the time. I figure it's all like it's all online. Print, I just yeah. started thinking, like, has there ever been a time I've been looking for something and not had it or not yeah. been able to access something? Mm -hmm. Like, I just I couldn't 
think of one time. I was like, oh, it'd be great to read that fucking Rolling Stone article from six years ago. But it, it just, and if I wanted to, it's probably it's online there. somewhere. Yeah, exactly. it's there. like every wrestling event that's ever occurred right. in the history of humanity. <laughs> there you go, Sam. Sam, I don't want to watch you could online. you could watch Coco Beware wrestle on the internet right now <laughs> if you wanted. To. You know, the, your point is is actually spot on because the reality I, is oh. is once these people throw that stuff away, they're not obsessing like they think that they are, and that's why they can't no. get rid of it. Is they think, oh my gosh, if I give this up, like I will forever regret it. I'm going to be in this like insane anxiety state, and you know, what if I want it and I can't get but it back? But it's all OC. It's all like it's all OCD, though, isn't it? Like, isn't it all a form of like as far as like it's all roots to the simple problem of like these people think something terrible will happen if they do something that is incredibly mm. normal. Are you asking me or the doctor? I'm asking. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it out there. But is that what it is? I mean, is it all? Is a little it, sensitive. Aren't yeah. You? <laughs> <laughs> Another problem. Uh, that was yeah. me being arrogant, thinking I'm on the same intellectual level. Like, oh. No, but is it? Is that what it is? Like, is it all the same thing? Like, is someone who ha thinks they have to touch a light switch five times before leaving a room? Do they have the same problem as someone who has every fucking, you know, episode of... At the end of the day, it's all fear. It's all fear. Fear, you know, if you don't touch the light switch five yeah. times, something bad. It's all something happen. in their brain saying something bad is going to happen, if, exactly. but it won't. It is exactly. a chemical thing, though. It, it really is. It really is, you know? Unfortunately. And I think... <clears throat> So you know, there's no way to fix it through talking, like so. So then, is there any like unless you're <laughs> medicating people on hoarders, <laughs> which you aren't? <laughs> is there great. any point to like? That's the question. Like, since it is a chemical imbalance, is there any point to doing anything other than medicating these people? If you if you look at anything that you're afraid of, the only way to get over it is to go through it. Right? We can talk about it all day long, but until you face your fear and test out if what you fear is going to happen, you never know. You just stay. Scared. But does that actually change? the chemical it does. makeup? It does. It's it does. Amazing. Really? It's amazing. Wow. Is it a case of you can't think yourself into good action, you have to act yourself into good thinking? Wow! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, That's just for you. That's the title of my book. I like that. That's right. I like happy endings better. Butt fucker. That's the um, that's the, uh, that's the, the second line. line. That's yes. The long line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's spelled B U T as in an aside. Butt yeah. yeah. fucker. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. That really, really is. I, uh, what? <laughs> what? Wow. You can answer the question, what? and I'll see. You. <laughs> I don't think some of the collecting or hoarding is just based on a fear that uh, something bad will happen if you get rid of it, because I know I've collected uh, over the years a lot of electronic or computer stuff, and thinking I, I might use this at some point, mm -hmm. knowing that you know in a week it's dated, and the reason I pulled it out of the other computer and put it in a box somewhere is because I got something new. Uh, anyway, but I, I'd always hold on to it, going like. I must have had like 50 graphics cards over the past 10 years put in boxes and stuff, knowing I'm never going to use it. You, I have all this old computer stuff because I'm convinced if something goes down, <laughs> you need to go back to an old computer. Yes. Someone's going <laughs> to save us yes. by all this old stuff. Like, does anyone yeah. have a 1972 computer? <laughs> I do, fucker. I do. That's and I win the movie. The only one that works. The yes. Yes. Only people with DOS prompts will live. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I didn't think I had one. Now I just realized yeah, I got all this old electronics, and I swear it's because. Well, yeah, I think that was right. <laughs> yeah. Throw the parts out of it. You, know, huh? you guys are wondering how could people do this, and so far, all of you are hoarders. Everyone yeah, does to it. a yeah. point. I, mean, I think yeah. every yeah, single yeah, person point is to a point. About. Like, we all fall on the continuum. We Thank can God. All I. Relate yeah. In some way to the difficulty of letting go of stuff. Whether Thank God I'm wealthy yeah. enough to have Mexicans come over every That's week. That's right. <laughs> the hoarder in you. This is what happens if your uncle is a hoarder. <laughs> the hoarder in you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Robbins is just shaking exactly. her head. It's the, the sequel to The Hoarder on you. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes.
everybody can relate at some level, you know? Um, of course, you read the book, so you know. Oh, uh, it was, it was a terrific book. I did read it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> cover to cover, in, obviously. In the beginning, you know. Couldn't um, put it down. I, I talk about that <laughs> makeup drawer, and it's only, you know, so wide, six inches by 12 inches. And I've got a little container of makeup from high school and college that I hold on to, you know, black eyeliner, that kind of stuff, none of which I wear now, but I go, you never know, someday, and it'd be wasteful Throw to go out and spend 15 bucks on eyeliner, so I keep right. it, even though there's no way in hell I'm going to put that on my face, right. well, but I, I still hold on to it. You could just go to Sephora or go to the makeup room on Hoarders and they would do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, they have a makeup yeah. uh, person. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's on a continuum, you know. The other thing I'm known for is my, you know, 200 pairs of shoes. But you know what? I can access every single one of them. They're all lined up. Oh, right well, right then oh. that's totally that fine. Like yeah, but to me. <laughs> that sounds like a yeah, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, I, yeah, can but access, I can access them. I can access them. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. I, you know... Sure, sure. <laughs> so it's Identify, it's don't compare. It's just the difference between someone who just has a big collection of shit and a hoarder. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. If your closet if is big be, enough... If, exactly, if these people had 30,000 square foot homes, they wouldn't be hoarders at right. all. Right. Right. <laughs> people with a lot of shit. <laughs> In a small place. Yeah. That sucks. That's the but, difference. Uh, well, I can look at all of my I shoes. i got a big closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the square footage has disqualified you from hoarders. I would love to, <laughs> I would love to be able to grab a, a few pairs of your shoes and say, look, uh, what, what would, how would you feel if I threw You're these away? Shoes, <laughs> if I threw out. these away, anxiety level between yeah. one and ten. How, <laughs> how anxious is this making you? And more yeah. accurately. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, listen, oh, I love again, it. Anxiety I love hoarders. Like, What's up with that? Hoarders is you? great. And then the question, how, how would you feel if he put them on and pranced around the house <laughs> and felt pretty? Now Why? the anxiety level has to go up to 20, 30. Like I said, he's not going to hold of my shoes. <laughs> no. Wow. Why do you have really? so many pairs of shoes? Shoes. How often do you wear a different pair? Like, when's the last time you wore those bur boots? In um, the Roach House. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Bed bugs nesting in it. <laughs> Bugs nesting in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> bugs in her shoes, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> nice there host. Might be, might be a bed bug in there. Right? I'm sure there, there is. Yeah. Bed bugs in my shoes. All that that fur. There's fur. I do see yeah. fur. Yeah. 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 Boots have dandruff. <laughs> Rampant breeding grounds. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nothing makes well, those right, things hornier than that. Fur is an aphrodisiac to those fuckers. They can't believe someone was dumb enough to walk in with fur. They're like, we haven't seen one of these in five years. Hop on, boy. Like a train coming in here. Yeah. We're going to shoe town. <laughs> Shoes, you know where they're living when I leave here. Uh oh, right oh, here. No. Oh, this place well, is infested. We'll just you know, fight I with the other bugs. I want to leave you guys with something. <laughs> well, yeah, some bed bugs, some cockroaches. Some, yeah. Remember yeah. You yeah. Know? Hey, does this happen in other countries? This hoarding thing. It's all over. It it's is? Over. So it's not just the United States no, in general? No, no, no. I mean, the reality There's is... There's assholes all over the world. Rouge and their skulls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Pot was hoarding bodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know, are, they, are there hoarders in Ethiopia? I don't really know. How about you go there with the there? show and then mm. find but, out? Hoarders but, International. Yeah, let's oh, I see it now. Good, let's right? do this. I see it now. We are so talking about it. Let's do this. Yeah, I mean, we've been up to Canada a few times. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the reality yeah. is, again, you know, I gotta stress, orders blew this whole thing wide open. Yeah. And, you know, so many people are sitting in silence. So when you say, you know, how many hoarders are there? We have no idea. You know, estimates are 3 million, but we actually think it's closer to 7 million because, you know, who, who opens their door and says, you know, come on in and, oh, by the way, my children don't have a bed to sleep in. And, so, you know, but. It's that house that has the curtains closed all the time. Mm -hmm. They put the newspaper over the little window on the door. Their lawn's a little long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you all kinda, have one in the neighborhood, You kind of think maybe someone's cooking up some crystal meth in the neighborhood when you walk by their house. Are you doing any book signings? Um, not this trip, but uh, I'll sign your book. Okay, I, I want to. I want to work because we're wrapping up soon. I think we have a couple yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if, I'm fine if we have time. I just want to make sure everybody's plugged. I don't yet. know who has to go. So uh, well, all time. whoever goes, me. Goes. Um, and <laughs> Seth is plugging uh, Fifty Fifty, which is on Blu-ray January what? Twenty fourth, I think. Is it, on, is it on demand or something now? Because I've heard this is great. I yeah, it is. I, it and is. I, I just want to jump in again. I did see this movie two days ago. I loved it. Nice. I fucking loved it. Loved Seth's performance. Uh, nice. The writing was amazing, and there's definitely laughs in there. A little uh, different look at cancer. And I think it's going to be up for some awards. 
Thanks. Oh, look at you. Fuck yeah. Seth's an animal. <laughs> no, I am. Yes, it's an animal. <laughs> Can you feel it coming yeah. off of me? An animal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tie it all in. Somebody was hoarding cancer cells. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Good segue. Uh, is, Seth, is Seth promoting anything else? Uh, not don't, really. I'm, uh, don't you have a charity? Or I am actually. Yes, I'm doing. Uh, I'm, I'm in a charity competition. I'm getting beaten by Jonah Hill and Ed Norton, which is fucking humiliating. So go to crowdrise.com and donate to my charity page to help me beat those guys. Very cool. We'll What's money. the charity Crowdrise for? Uh, well, that's like a. It's like a social network for charities. But I, I work uh, with the Alzheimer's Association. Okay. Hmm. Awesome. And Brewer, just so you know, Jim is uh, mm. the great Jim Brewer doing the heavy metal Family Man tour. This is the Highline Ballroom, which is on 16th Street here in Manhattan. Uh, it's this Friday night. Go to HighlineBallroom.com or just call if you, not near your computer, 212 414 5994 to see Brewer. And I'm not going to plug all my dates. Just go to eataabullet.com. I have Poughkeepsie, Tempe, Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale. Rochester and Toledo coming up. But you're soon. not promoting. No, I'm just going to mention the cities. Yeah, you <laughs> get the dates. <laughs> <Yeah. on. laughs> it's not promoting. Absolutely. Not promoting. Yeah. Was, screw it. And the book, once again, for Robin, who's always a great guest. It's there. called The Hoarder and You, yeah, yeah. How to Live a Happier, Healthier, Uncluttered Life. Very odd with the clutter of words. Mm -hmm. The irony is so thick you can cut it with a knife. <laughs> it's a long title. It's a very long title. <laughs> yes. I'm words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are. And uh, it's a nice, uh, a nice little book, and uh, I'm going to read this, because I picked it up, and I, like I said, I wish I would have read this. It looked very good. And the show uh, on A&E, &E, uh, Monday, 9 p.m., uh, it's it's fantastic. I can't get enough of it. Man. I can't get enough of hating the the people I see on it. <laughs> I have no. St I, I just have no patience for it. I yell. I tweet all the time. I'm tweeting during the show, going, "Burn it down! Burn it down!" <laughs> That's just a horrible right person. I know. I'm, I'm telling you, it isn't. You've got issues. I you know? I do. I, mean, I know. Thank God. Uh, you know. That's. What got me this uh, program? <laughs> <laughs> all of my issues. I wasn't but so he tries to up. laugh it all away. Oh, and it's yeah. like they say, uh, uh, thank God I can laugh, but don't let me forget that I cried. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Vinny is despicable with his shit. <laughs> Fucking fortune oh, cookies. God. Well, you know, Jesus. guys, I mean, uh. <laughs> Jimmy's little sayings. Oh, man. It's is that always an grabbing. Adage? I think that's an adage. It sure that's is. It's an adage. Yes. It's an adage. <laughs> always grabbing for more than our share. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> all right, let's oh, get the fuck out of here. Sure. Yeah. All yeah. right. Hey, hey, thanks, everybody. And uh, Thank you. I'm grateful you all came in. Yeah. Thanks Can't have what I want. Please let me want what I have. <laughs> This is the Opie and Anthony Show.